Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from erwplans.com on Instagram, erw underscore plans, on Etsy, erwplans.etsy.com, on Patreon, patreon.com slash erwplans. Today, I'm going to show you how I use multiple planners to keep my entire life organized and on track. Uh, first of all, if you don't know, I do run two different businesses. I have the erwplans.com uh, blog and sticker business, and I have the Elizabeth Williamsburg photography, elizabethwilliamsburg.com photography business. Uh, those have very different needs, and so they need very different planners setups in order to run. Uh, I also, of course, have a real life with, you know, doctor's appointments and things like that that I need to keep track of. So there are multiple things that pull me in multiple directions. And I use this system to kind of keep everything in track. Uh, first, I'll go over what we're using today. We have the pl Passion Planner Daily in the Cocoa Paper cover. I have an Amplify Planner. I have a Annual Passion Planner. And I have the Passion Planner Desk Calendar. Uh, we also have my collection of mild liners. And we have just an assortment of pens and other tools. So we'll get started with how I do all of this. And we'll start with the business side of things. Um, this is my monthly calendar here. And uh, basically you can get these stickers. I off these are in the shop, the um, cover cover stickers for this. And then we have, these are the, called the quarterly word bars that you can customize down here. I basically use this calendar as a um, quasi business plan where I do out my sales goals for each month. I also put in due dates for different things, such as my Facebook ads when they start and finish, um, major campaigns, major content, uh, fun holidays that I want to post around, etc. This has all been laid out in advance um, when I was doing my business plan for the year. So that's laid out and I'll show you how that goes into this planner. Um, the next thing, however, I want to show you is the Amplify Planner, which I use specifically for the sticker business. This doesn't get anything else. This is just for stickers. Um, I lay out my month, as you can see here, monthly tasks, month focus. Um, this kit this is the January Amplify kit that's in the shop right now. And then I go through each day and I lay out my Instagram, my Facebook posts, uh, videos for YouTube, videos for TikTok, blog, post, etc. This all gets laid out. I do this probably two weeks before the end of the month. So I will do... February's sometime around probably the 17th, the 22nd will be when I lay that out. So just so you can see, this is what it looks like beforehand. This is what it looks like afterward. I then do my weeklies. Um, I have, these actually are stickers for the Passion Planner. Uh, I had some extra ones, so I just threw them in here. Same thing with, this is actually from the March kit up top. I just threw it in there to have something. It was from a misprint. So this is all just very haphazard, extra stickers from misprints and random things. Um, laid out my social for the week. Laid out appointments so I know what I'm doing. I don't have times or anything. That's all for the passion planner uh, planners. But I wanna know what dates I have things scheduled for so that I don't try to um, over book myself for work. All right, if that makes sense. Uh, laid out what each topic is, um, what I need to do on each topic. And then for the sticker planner, uh, each day I have a different sticker that I'm designing and photographing. I lay out which sticker it is, and then I can just check these off once I've designed it and printed it and once I've photographed it. So that's what my weekly looks like there. And then here's how it all works together in the weekly passion planner. Uh, in this, you can already see that I filled in some of these things. Um, this is 
kind of what it looks like before I fill anything in. This is what it looks like afterward. Um, this is the January kit that's in the shop, by the way. Um, we have the priority, which in this case is going to be for the photography business. I was running a third separate planner for the photography business. I've just condensed that into my overall planner since that takes up most of my non-personal free time. So I set up my top priority. I took from my top priority and broke it down into tasks, oh, overview, like kind of large tasks, like set my prices. Okay, Th these are like the overview tasks, the kind of tasks that you'll pick out when you're doing your roadmap. Um, how that worked is I did my roadmap, then I picked out one goal for the month of January, put my goal here, broke that down into action steps, also added my level 10 life goals for the month. I then took these action steps, picked one action step, I did five action steps to get to this game changer, one for each week. This is the action step from over here, broken down into smaller steps. What, I'll do, what I did then is take these smaller steps and broke them down into tasks, which go into my task list here. Um, I have some migrated tasks, so I needed more task space. So what I did is divided these in half, and with my ruler, it's a, if you're running a medium, which is what I'm using as a medium, it's measure from the edge here to about four, four to 4.5 um, centimeters. That's gonna be your second set of check boxes. And just do the exact same thing again from the outer edge to four, another set of check boxes, and then you just trace it down. That was with an O1 um, of the uh, Pigma Microns. That was the O1 that I used for that. That's that. It comes out to about the same line width, as you can see, as the other line. So it kind of looks like it belongs. Broke these down into tasks here. Then I migrated any task that I hadn't completed last week or the week before. The arrows are for migrating the tasks over. Once the tasks got migrated over, they went in over here. Um, if you can see, I broke down where it says like top priority, priority and errands. I changed that to my personal tasks, photography tasks, sticker tasks. Photography tasks came from here, got broken down and migrated over. Sticker tasks came from here. Took each of these and my monthly tasks from here and I broke them down into actionable steps. I also migrated over again. Anything that didn't get done that week got migrated over here. That's how, So that's how that got set up. There are some left over. As the week goes on, I find I end up with more tasks to do on uh, things I need to add to my to-do list. And so those will just kind of go into these spaces here as they come up. From each of these categories, I picked a top priority, made it a number one here, made those my three key tasks to accomplish for the week and put them over here. This sticker is not in my shop. I need to redesign it. I um, This was something that actually came from a course I had taken. I just printed out in sticker paper every time. I would love to redesign it and make it something that's my own because I get a lot of compliments on it. But as of right now, this was just something from a course that I printed on sticker paper. You can print anything on sticker paper and stick it in, whatever works for you. From there, these first tasks go into my top three for the day. Because I don't have anything scheduled for this morning other than filming this video, I did a morning task list and my top three tasks. And now my week is set and my first day of the week is set, okay? That brings us to the daily planner. I'm just gonna move, I'm gonna take away the amplify because we've now transferred all of this week's tasks into the one main planner, so I can take that away. And I can add in this. So you can see what I'm doing here. And I don't write very well while I'm talking, so please bear with me as I try to do this. You're just basically planning in real time with me. Um, we have our game changer task sticker here, photography task, sticker planner task, daily habit tracker. This is my custom design for myself. You can get a daily habit tracker that's blank in the shop, or you can get one that's filled in with up to six daily tasks to do. Um, that's a custom sticker. 
uh, that you, but you can pick that out in the shop if you're interested. These have all of my daily tasks for all the businesses. So Instagram and then photography, stickers, and my senior business, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then for my business task, and then I have a second section for personal tasks. Um, what the book I'm reading, what my writing goal is for the day, my step goal for the day, my uh, points goal for the day, and my level 10 life goal I'm focusing on this month, which is no added sugar. What would make to get the great best thing to happen today I learned and my mood tracker. Okay, got those all stickered out. What we're gonna do, top three are gonna migrate into my game changer tasks. So film video for Wednesday. Then we're gonna do, um, I need to watch the senior level up video. Which is a mentor group for photographers. So this is my senior photography task for the day. And my personal task, email my rep's office. Since I'm working with my US representative right now, they haven't, for whatever reason, the IRS keeps skipping us for stimulus checks. Don't know why, they, IRS doesn't know why we're working with my representative to figure it out. So that's what that's all about. From there, I'm gonna go through, look at the first um, priority of the week, my prices and policies. Find where in my photography plan, my prices and policies tasks are. So finish my price sheets, price spreadsheet. Spread sheet. And create new price list as part of that. List. Customer journey map. Now one thing that's a daily task I don't have on here is to uh, check in on my Facebook ads on Facebook ads and let's see anything else um, okay and work on my policies on formal policies and then my sticker tasks same thing um, I don't have a prioritize for this week, but I can look at my sticker task and see what priorities are. So shoot social images next week. And catch up on orders due. Uh, complete 2021 spreadsheet. I do everything in spreadsheets. Makes everything easier at tax time. And week three challenge. And check in on ambassador referrals. I like to check in I totally misspelled build referrals. I like to check in um, every week on my, uh, I'm a passion planner ambassador, if you didn't know. I like to check in every week, see how many people are clicking through my links, see what content is popular so I know what content, including videos, to make going forward. So I now have those tasks done. Um, what would make today great? Uh, I would say completing all my daily tasks. My daily tasks and hit daily sales goal for stickers, which is a $35 sale. Okay, the best thing that happened today I learned in Mood Tracker, I will save for the end of the day. In the space of infinite possibility, this is where I'm going to use my highlighters to plan out my day. You can also get stickers to divide this up if you so choose. I'm just gonna try to make this look nice and neat here. It's a little hard to 
make this look as neat as I usually like it when I'm doing it with the camera overhead. As I've said in a few other videos, if you haven't seen a few of the other videos, I am nearsighted, painfully so, and with the light overhead, I get this kind of glare in my glasses, so it's harder for me to see kind of what I'm doing. Um, so basically, um, these kind of look a little bit sloppier, and that's why like the ones on social look a little bit neater because I can actually see what the heck I'm doing when I'm doing these for social or in real life. But I, when I used to try to do these appropriately, there I was wearing my glasses and then I couldn't see a thing. Um, or I could see, but my head would be like right here in the space and it was just ridiculous, so anyway. So then we're gonna go in here and this is going to be my exercise today. Now I have an exercise and fitness planner where I keep all my meal tracking. That's this guy over here, my sleep tracker, all that track. So I don't need to track my food. However, I do track my, ex I do plan out my exercise. I did it in the front page of the daily this week. So I'm gonna just transfer that over into my exercise for today's section. So that was a 30 minute walk or 30 minute cardio. Minute cardio walk, as opposed to just a stroller on the mall or something. And upper body strength. Okay, that is planned out. And then this next section we have, I can do overdue tasks. This is where any task that I didn't complete yesterday from here will just get migrated over to here. And so, you know, contest winners. A mini video. Okay. Then I have all this other room if I want to journal, if I want to put stickers in, if I want to write something, I have all this room to do that here. Um, what I'll actually, what will actually happen is I will watch this level up video that I mentioned earlier when I was planning out my tasks. Sorry for the dead air, guys. To concentrate. Seriously, this is serious business. <laughs> so, and I usually have a sticker for this one, actually. So then we'll make this level up. And then I'll have watch last week video on there. Watch last week video. And then whatever the homework is from that video, I can put in here. So that's what that'll look like. If I was going to therapy today, this section would become my therapy notes. If I was going to my Weight Watchers meeting today, this would become Weight Watchers notes, that kind of thing. Otherwise, I can journal in here or I can draw if I get like bored. Um, last year, I was even like on some of these uh, conference calls, taking my conference calls notes right in here. Um, but if you have a lot to do, you can just keep making to-do lists over here. Uh, and at the bottom, we have my fitness tracker. So I can knock off my medication, which I took today. And yes, these are my stickers from my shop. You can get this sticker in my shop. And yes, you can write almost anything that's ink. You can go ahead and write. I had my glass of water with breakfast this morning, so I'll just go ahead and fill that in. I totally forgot to weigh in this morning. And then the last thing I'll do is come back over to my mood tracker. How's my mood today? Mm. My mood's kind of iffy. I'll I'll call this an okay to meh. And I'll fill in my little face. I said okay to meh. So we get half of this dude and half of this dude here. And that can go into my fitness planner's mood tracker. Which is 
I'll just take my move from here and fill it in over there. Okay. And that is how I'm using multiple planners to keep track of my entire life. As a last note, um, while I just showed you guys how I've used this planner to keep track of everything, the one thing I didn't show you is my fitness planner. Uh, I had a separate video where I showed you how I did that, but I realized at the end of this video, I did touch a little bit on the fitness planner. So I'll go over how that works. Um, medication, I have a medication tracker in here. Water tracker. What I will actually do is as the day goes on, I will fill in my breakfast, lunch, and dinner as I eat them and what my totals are. As I do the water, I will fill it in on the water tracker. Um, let's see here. Since this is one of Chelsea's stickers, you have to be very specific about which kinds of pens you use in this. So um, I, would, I would probably use like a Sharpie marker. Um, as I eat, I'm going to fill this tracker out here. As I do my daily habits, I'll fill this tracker out here. My medication, I will check off as I do it here, uh, etc. Um, I have, let's see, I'm not doing that because that's on Friday. I will fill in my body temperature for today. And then I will chart it and fill out, excuse me, and fill out that chart. And no period to fill in today. Is there anything else? Yeah, that's basically everything that I would fill in for today. This, I actually keep, if you can see, in the same planner cover as my daily, because I wanna keep opening this up, filling this out as the day goes by, which is why I have my bookmark in here. But we also have this bookmark in here, because this is gonna actually sit open on my desk as I'm working. And then when it comes time to get grab lunch or something, I'm gonna flip that open and fill that out. So that's how I'm using these planners in conjunction with the rest of my planners for keeping my life in order for 2021. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, uh, please leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments, anything you'd like to see in a future video. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. We tend to go live every Wednesday at 7 a.m. This Wednesday, we will not be going live because I actually have a dentist appointment at 7 a.m. So you'll see this video on Thursday at some point. Um, because we try to go live on Wednesdays, but things happen like dentist appointments. Uh, the best way to find out when there's a new video up, as well as many videos that we drop infrequently, then check out subscribing so you'll get a notification every time we go live. Um, until next week, thank you guys again so much for watching and stick around for the next video.